Welcome back to Decked Out. On today's episode, we're joined by Megan Smith and Power Dragon. And thanks to our patrons who voted on a special theme for today's episode, each player has decided to represent their favorite Strixhaven school. As always, thank you to our sponsors, Tales of Adventure, Moxfield, and Ultimate Guard, but more on them later in the video. That's enough from us for now. Let's go ahead and meet the players and their sweet Strixhaven commanders. I'm Veggie Wagon, and I'm here to represent Prismari with the dragon himself, Galazeth Prismari. We're all about the experience. We're here to put spells on the stack, enjoy them as they resolve, and then poof, it's gone. We don't need permanence on the board. And if in the process we deal a whole bunch of damage to our opponent's faces, it's a performance they'll never forget. Hello everybody, I'm MTG Nerd Girl. I'm an honorable student at the Strixhaven College. And today, my commander and I, Brina the Demigod, are going to be using our superior debate skills to incentivize our opponents to kill each other. And then we'll just pick up the pieces. With cards like Gix, we are going to be able to get a ton of incremental value and our opponents won't be able to stop us. Hey there, my name is Megan Smith. I'm a game designer over at Wizards of the Coast, and today I'm playing Belladross Witherbloom. I built this deck as a love letter to when I used to play Magic back in 2016, 2017, where it's just a ton of ramp and haymakers. I just want to play some really big spells and have some really flashy plays with the Belladross's ability. What's up, everybody? I'm Power Dragon, back again, this time representing Quandrix, the School of Math. And of course, we're gonna be playing a lot of plus one, plus one counters today because math is good. And things like hardened scales are gonna be pretty sweet and maybe even vigor so we can just get even more plus one, plus one counters. Tales of Adventure. We're helping out decked up by getting the cardboard. Tales of Adventure. T-O-A, 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 T-O, T-O-A, 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 Tales of Adventure. Veggie, T-O-A has the best singles, not the best jingles. Well, now they have both. Fair. Make sure you guys support our show by heading on over to TOA and doing what you were going to do anyway, purchasing Magic Cards. They have the best selection of singles, quick shipping, and you get 5% off your order with code Decked Out. You can find a link and that code down below in the description. And now it's time to get to the game. Welcome to the table. Let's see who goes first. 18. 17. Three, definitely not me. One, definitely not me. <laughs> Mine was an 18. I I, I believe you. Mm. I'll allow it. Hey, your rules. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, num numbers are sub subjective, right? It's like whatever you feel your number is. I would beg to differ. Numbers are very important. <laughs> <laughs> you would. <laughs> Let's draw for turn. Uh, play a swamp and pass. Uh, I'll draw, and I'm going to play a tapped land. It's a Bajuka Bog. This would normally exile target player's graveyard, but no one has any, so I'm just going to let that go and hope that nobody does anything unfair with their graveyards later and make mm -hmm. me regret this. Yeah. Bajuka Bog with no ability. Awesome. <laughs> tapped Swamp. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's all right. I'm just going to play a tapped Breeding Pole here and pass a turn because I don't need to take damage. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to play an untapped island and pass the turn. All right. This might be the most fair turn one we've had in a while. Sure. <laughs> Let's go with a blight step pathway. And then I came here to cause a little chaos and we're going to play a tribute of Horobi. Uh, for the first two chapters, each opponent creates a rat rogue creature token. And on the third chapter, I get to exile it and return it to the battlefield transformed. I thought, I thought I was getting rats when I made this plan. So I only had one out. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we're all going to need some rats. Yes. You, you'll you get them eventually. And now that you all have your rats, that's my turn. All right. Thank you for the rat. Mm-hmm. I'll draw. I will play a command tower and pass. All right. I think I'm going to lose a life to go find a land with my wooded foothills. And it can probably just be an island, and I'm probably okay with that. I don't think it can be. Oh, no, that's what a foothills. It cannot be. You are right. You are totally right. It can't be. That happens Teacher's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, I will go get a forest. Because that seems to be Is bad. it the teacher's pet if the student corrects the teacher? That can't be right. Teacher, teacher, <laughs> you, you can't you can't get uh, an island with wooded foothills. Well, actually, uh... <laughs> all right, I'm gonna tap both of these. I'm gonna play an incubation druid. 
and this lets me tap to add one mana of any color or i can pay five and adapt to put three counters on it and if it has counters on it i get to make three mana which is great mm -hmm. uh but i feel like i need to run this rat into another rat at some point so let's see you'll get a oh, we're gonna get rats again on her turn yeah <laughs> i think we determined there is a way to get rid of all the rats so i think if you just attack any of us that have rats we can do it okay uh We'll attack into your rat if you choose to block, Veggie. I don't know. The the vibes of that rat, <laughs> I, I feel like I want to keep some rats around. I, it actually benefits me, and I think, to have life totals a little lower. So I will not block with my rat. Mm. You have made an enemy on this day, <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> your turn. And now, at the end of your turn, also my secret turn one play, it's Secrets of the Key. Uh, I'm going to make a clue, uh, and if I cast this from my graveyard, it does have flashback for four, I will make two clues instead. Okay. All right. I'm going to play a Sulphur Falls and tap two for a Kessig Flame Breather. Oh, no. Yeah. Whenever I cast a non-creature spell, it deals one damage to each opponent. Hmm. Kessick Flame Breather and other little spell pingers are the bread and butter of Spellslinger decks because nobody wants to spend their removal on a two drop that's only doing one damage at a time. But by the time that it's a problem, it's too late. And then I will take this rat and swing it at Nerd Girl. Okay. And pass the turn. I'll untap and draw for my turn. We're going to get. Chapter two, everybody gets another rat. More rats. Who are these little dudes? We're here for a little chaos. I will take two points of damage by shocking in this godless shrine, and we're going to play my commander, Brina the Demigog. A 1-3 with flying that says, whenever a player attacks one of your opponents, if that opponent has more life than any of your other opponents, the attacking player gets to draw and I get to put two plus one plus one counters onto a creature I control. Mm, I see what Veggie was going for. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and pass the turn. All right, and I will draw. So now that means you don't qualify for this. Correct, so got me a little bit there. I feel a little bit silly now. So let's see if I can rectify the situation I've put myself in. I'm going to play a fetch land, so I will lose a life. I'll get an overgrown tomb and I'll shock that in. <laughs> nice. Travel this back in. Yes. So now that triggers no matter which one of us she attacks. And then I will play a cultivate. So I will search my library for up to two basics. One will go into play and one will go into my hand. So I will get a basic forest into play and a swamp to my hand. So maybe I don't want to attack at all. Maybe I just want to make sure I don't get attacked. Maybe that's the correct play. Hmm. That's no fun for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, since the card isn't going to benefit me because I'll just discard it and I actually like all the cards in my hand right now, I'm just going to pass the turn. Fantastic. That's win-win for you. Now it means you get rats. All right, I'm going to play an island. Yeah, well, I told you he was going to send rats, so we'll trade rats. I'll attack you with two rats. And attack me for two rats, so no triggers happen from Brina. No triggers. Correct. I'm trying to think if there's a reason I want to block or not block. I think we want to get rid of the rats so she doesn't gain the rats, right? That's the idea. Interesting. Um, I can't believe you gave Veggie a freebie. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll, block, I'll block both the rats. Okay. We'll, we'll trade off the rats. I think that's correct. Dead rats. And then I'm going to play a Kami of Whispered Hopes. And it can, well, if I put counters on anything, plus one, plus one counters, I put an additional one. And then I can tap this to add mana equal to its power of any color, which is awesome. And then I'm also going to tap the Incubation Druid to play a Hardened Scales. Oh. So again, whenever I get a plus one, plus one counter on something, I get to put an additional one. So one counter is now three. At, at some point in the future, whenever that happens, <laughs> <laughs> your turn. All right. You guys are no fun at all. I'll be fun. <laughs> I do need to keep one of you kind of lower so I can keep triggering this. So I will attack with two rats, one at Power Dragon and one at Megan. Yep, I can't block. Seems fair. I mean, I can block, but I'm choosing not to. Well, before even that, 
Uh, I get to draw and you get to put two counters. Two counters onto Brina. I'll take one. All right. Then I'm going to pay two for Is It Signet uh, as a non-creature, so everybody take one. True. And I'll pay two more for a treasure map. Uh, it's an artifact. I can pay one and scry one. I put a landmark counter on it. And then if there are three of those on it, I remove them, transform it, and make three treasures. The backside is a land that can sack treasures for cards. It is a non-creature, so everybody take a damage. Yeah. <laughs> that tracks. How fast the turn? All right. Who would have thought Prismari and Silverquill, good friends. Uh, I mean, if it's the right semester and, you know, <laughs> you need a study partner. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I will get to transform my saga and it will turn into Echo of Death's Whale. This is a 3-3 flyer with haste, and when it enters the battlefield, gain control of all rat tokens. Whenever Echo of Death's Whale attacks, you may sacrifice another car, another creature. If you do, draw a card. Can I have my rats back, please? You certainly can. <laughs> Thank you. See, this with somebody has got to write, you know, the play. Somebody's got to write all the musicals. And, and that's why that's why this works out so well. We were just stopping the infestation. That's all we were doing. Oh, well, don't worry. The infestation is coming. Oh, that's also true. <laughs> well, I really want to make sure I hit my land drop this this turn because I don't have one. So I'm going to play Gix Yogmoth Ooh. Crater. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to one of my opponents, its controller may pay one life if they do draw a card. And then I can also pay a lot of mana, seven, to discard X cards, exile up to X cards from target opponent's library, and play lands and cast spells from among them without paying their mana cost. All I'm hearing is hit more players, draw more cards. <laughs> That's about right. I really want to make sure that I can indeed hit my land drop, so we are going to send the Echo to Veggie and Brina to Power Dragon. Seems and, fair. So it's what, three? And then when I attack the opponent with the most life, I will get two counters and get to draw a card. That was not a land. All right. I am choosing not to block with my copy. And I can't block flying. All They're right. both flying. So I take my three. And I'll take five. All right. I will choose. Do I have to choose them both at the same time? No, right? Three commander damage. Yes. Because that, that certainly will be relevant with Brina. It's the middle one. Nope. Good. All right, I will choose to lose a life and draw a card. It's a land, so I'm just going to refuse the other one. I will play a Tainted Field for a turn. Seven, and I will pass. All right, life totals are looking pretty even again. I will play the Swamp that you saw me get last turn with the Cultivate. The Swamp. The Swamp. I will pay three for a pristine talisman. This taps for a colorless and gains me one life. So I will tap and gain a life and play a Glissa Sunslayer. 3-3 three, three, first strike death touch. Whenever she deals combat damage to a player, I may choose one. I can draw a card and lose one life, destroy target enchantment, or a very relevant line of text for this pod, remove up to three counters from target permanent. Huh. So I will gain my life off of the pristine talisman, which now makes me enemy number one mm. for the Brina triggers, but I wasn't attacking this turn anyways. I will just pass. All right. That is a little unfortunate. Yeah, granted, I don't think we want to run anything into uh, first strike death touch Glissa. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Luckily, Nerd Girl has plenty of flyers to get around that. Mm. This deck kind of hurts my brain, Veggie. Is there any chance Glissa won't attack me for one turn just so I can do the cool things? <laughs> mm. Well, she doesn't have to attack you. That's also true. So you have to make sure everyone else is open for blocking her. She have any Christmas? I'm actually going to cast Grow Spiral right now. So I get to draw a card and I can play an additional plan from my hand. So we'll draw. I will play an island. And then I'll play a forest for the turn. And then we're going to tap five mana. What? Five? For a paradox zone. Ooh. This is an enchantment. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, it gets a growth counter on it. And then at the beginning of my instep, I double the number of counters and I make a paradox token or fractal token that has 
plus one plus one counters equal to the number of counters on here. So it comes into play with one. Unfortunately, those do not get doubled because they're not plus one plus one counters. You know, this is actually the first time I've gotten a Paradox Zone this early. And this might actually end up being like four or five. Who knows? If we get five more turns down the road, I might be making 2020s. But then I end my turn and we move this to two. And then I get a Fractal Token. And it poops one out every turn? Yep. And they're bigger and bigger. And then we come in with two, but it gets two more. So it's a four. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Yep. And I always forget this is double, not just one more every time. Correct. So double plus two every time. But if That's you remove turn. the counters from it, then there's no more. Uh, well, it puts a counter on itself at the at every end step. No, wait, no, no, it doubles. No, no, no. It just doubles. Counters. So if you can hit it now, Ooh, that exactly. is why he's saying. That's why he's saying. Well, you've already done the fun thing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. you made so a four four. You got like... your value. <laughs> yep, I did what I could. I'm gonna untap. I am gonna try and do the cool thing. I'm going to play a command tower. That was the cool thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Everyone clap. Oh my god, I love a plus. <laughs> Participation trophy. I'm going to pay... We don't do those at this university. <laughs> <laughs> we do for veggie. What? That, nothing is a competition, okay? It's just, did you feel special <laughs> doing your thing? Then then you're a winner. And I'm That's about to feel very special. You. <laughs> That's what Mr. Galazeth Prismari told me. It's a 3-4 flyer. When it enters the battlefield, I create a treasure and all of my artifacts can tap for mana to cast instants and sorceries. Galazeth Prismari. He is the title character of this deck. The way that it's designed is that once he's on board, I can chain low cost spells back to back using the mana from the treasures to get big explosive turns that my opponents won't see coming. So let's do that. I am going to pay two to cast the adventure of grabby giant that's mine i'm just gonna make a treasure token <laughs> this will go on an adventure just a treasure token just a treasure token. Uh, but then we one. each lose a life as well correct and then yes everyone will lose a life from the kessig firebreed then i'm gonna tap this treasure and i'm gonna play a thought cast uh i have one two three four five artifacts so it only costs one i'm gonna draw two cards everybody's gonna take a damage from the fire breather Veggie just stopped me from attacking you. <laughs> <laughs> you made the decision very easy. <laughs> yeah. That's true. It's very <laughs> tempting, but uh, I think I will have to pass at that point. All right. Well, I am once again missing land. So we're going to go to combat. We're going to do some things. All right, Veggie, we are going to come in and attack you for... Uh, Brina... And Gix and Megan, I'm coming in at you with the Echo. And because I am attacking my opponent with the most life, or not the lowest life, I will get two more counters and I will put those onto Gix and I will get to draw a card. It's a land. And I will again choose to not sacrifice a rat. All right, well, it's got flying, so I can't block. I, don't know, I like these cards. Uh, I, will, I will also not block. All right, Veggie, you're going to take five, six, seven, eight. And I'll take five. Okay, I'm going to play a Swamp for turn. I'm going to tap two for an Arcane Signet. And I will tap two more for an Orzhov Signet. And here you were complaining about missing a <laughs> land. <laughs> well, what was that about explosive plays? Well, uh, I, I never- a lot of mana and cards here. I was able to never miss a land because I was able to draw my way out of it, thankfully. Um, and now we have some mana rocks and we did some stuff. I will pass the turn. All right, I will untap. I will draw. I will play a land, just a forest. And I will cast- Just a forest. Pristine Talisman will gain me a life. And I will cast Belladross Witherbloom. It's a 4-4 four, four flying. At the beginning of each upkeep, create a 1-1 one, one black and green pest creature token with when this creature dies, you gain one life. And I may pay 10 life to untap all lands I control once each turn. Mm. All right. 
The ramp deck is doing ramp things, which is a whole lot of putting lands into play, but not a whole lot of action so far. Belladross really wants to live a full turn cycle to really unlock her potential, and all these other decks are getting their engines online pretty fast. I gotta make sure that those haymakers that I draw off the top are making hay. So I will go to combat. I do kind of want to draw some cards now, but I also want to keep this guy under control. So I mean, attacking me is high. Oh no. It's both of those yeah, things. It's like, yeah, yeah. Cause I'm 30, 31. I was going to say, so I'm so going to, you get both of the things you want. Right. I'm going to, doesn't she need to connect with it or no? Well, yeah. I mean, no, just to like the trigger from Brina to get the card. Yeah. I want the card. Right. Oh, I thought, but you said you wanted to do both, which was I that, do. right? I think killing off his four, four is going to keep him under control. Like if he can't attack with these big things, I feel like that's going to keep gonna his board. It's going to be blocking duty forever. Yeah. It's going to be majoritively good. So I will draw off of the Brina trigger. Okay. Okay. And then it looks like you've uh, chump blocked. Yep. Cool. I it's will... gone. Hold on. I will get a counter. Um, hmm. Can I get your rat token, please? Boop. And I'm gonna. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm actually gonna choose to put it onto one of my rat tokens. There we go. Now I have two cuties. All right, and then I will pass the turn. Okay. <gasps> okay. Mm. Then so I'm just gonna draw. I will make a pass. If nothing else, because it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> And oh, I will let cute things fun. hit the board. <laughs> and then immediately murder them. <laughs> All right. Well, this card's probably one of the better things I can do right now. So I'm going to tap five, six, seven. Ew. Whoa. We're going to play a big stone coil serpent. As X costs, mm. I'm paying seven. It gets that many plus one plus one counters and some extra ones. And it has protection from multicolor. And it has reach and trample. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, that's actually really good right that's now. That's really good right yeah. now. Yep. So it comes with seven, eight, nine counters, actually. That's bad. <laughs> well, at least keeps me from getting attacked for the moment. <laughs> uh, however, I do get to end my turn. This goes to four. Then we make the fractal comes back. And this time it will have four, five, six counters on it. Hmm. All right, I can no longer attack and into that Power is my Dragon turn. <laughs> with my Glissa. <laughs> You're up, Reggie. At the end of your turn, I am going to activate treasure map to scry one, and it'll put a counter on it. I will leave that on top. And then at your upkeep, I'll make a pest. And then I'll draw my card. I'll play mountain. I'm going to start by paying one, two for a talisman of creativity. Everyone will take a damage. This is becoming a pattern. And then I'm going to tap one, two, three, four. Oh, no. Five, six, seven for Brass's Bounty. I'm going to make a treasure for each land I control. Right now, that is five. And everyone will take a damage. Mm. Okay, I lied. That does worry me as much as losing a Stone Coil Serpent. <laughs> <laughs> stone Coil is not going to save you from that. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, I'm going to tap three of these for a Jessica's will. So I'm going to add, I think, seven uh, mana to my mana pool because I gain one red for each in target opponent's hand. Is that I have correct? six cards in hand. So how many cards six. do you have? Six. Oh, you only have six. Oh. No, I, I was just surprised. Great. I will take, I'll definitely take six and I will exile the top three and I can play them this turn. All right. So I have six floating red. Uh, everyone take a damage from that Jessica's Will from the Flame Breather. And my three are two lands and Gale Waterdeep Prodigy. I don't think I can play any of those things. Oh, I can because of I have the two lands left. I would say I'm sad for you, but I'd be lying. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did play my land for turn, so these are just gone. Uh, I'll pay two of these plus one for Gale. Uh, when I cast an instant or sorcery from my hand, I can cast the other type of card from my graveyard, um, and it exiles it if I do that. Gale Waterdeep Prodigy represents incredible potential for my deck. It essentially doubles all of my instants and sorceries and lets me sneakily cast sorceries at instant speed, but it only works if I remember to do it. I will spend two of the red, uh, Command Tower for blue, and it's actually sack a treasure for for blue and play the last card in my hand, Crackling Drake. Uh, 
power equal the number of instants and sorceries I own in exile and in my graveyard, and I'll draw a card. Right now, that is one, two, three, four. So, so there's a four, four flyer. Three left. Do we just let it go? Yeah, I can't just waste that. <laughs> I can't just waste that red mana. I'm going to spend one more of it and crack this last treasure for blue to play the reality chip. Uh, I can look at the top card of my library at any time. And as long as it's attached to a creature, I can play from the top of my library. Uh, and I just have to pay three to do that. So I'm going to take a look at this card on top. I see. All right. Uh, and then I think this one will leave my mana pool. And the last thing I need to do is not have no cards in my hand. Uh, so I imagine that I get smacked, uh, but it's not like Galazeth is going to be blocking anything. So Nurgirl, I will actually swing at you for three in the air. Okay, I'll take three. All right, and then whatever you all want to do to me, do to me. I I feel satisfied. <laughs> <Pass>. <laughs> So during your upkeep, I will make a third pest. There's so many. I told you the infestation was coming. The infestation. <laughs> I grew up poor. I've seen this before. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've owned an apartment. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> go straight to combat. All right, I'll 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 send the rat to Power Dragon, the 5-5 five five Echo to Veggie, and the Brina to to Megan uh, and we will get two counters and we're going to put them onto Brina uh, and draw a card because we are attacking the opponent with the most life. Yep. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be blocking that. Nor will I. As part of the treaty of uh, 2023. <laughs> 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 and Veggie? It's just big enough. Uh, I will take this one because hopefully this Crackling Drake saves some more damage later. Right. Yeah, so I'll take five, Commander, and you're this one here. Yep. I will first choose to draw from the rat. I will lose a life. Got to land. And then I will opt to not draw anymore because I have a full grip. So we're going to play an isolated chapel for turn. Comes into play untapped. I don't think I can let Megan untap with that dragon. That's probably Longer. true. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's like 12 mana plus. So we are going to go ahead and anguish the unmaking. We're going to exile target non-land permanent. I lose three life. Brutal. Hmm. I forget about that. I'm really hoping sometimes. there's a trick here. But you're tapped out. I'm tapped out, supposedly. I think I'm, I think I'm going to have to let that happen. So back to the command zone. Oh man, Beldross getting removed just blew up all my plans. I'm gonna have to take a turn off, rebuild, and come back. But if I get to land Beldross again, I have a rather profane surprise in store for somebody. And you lose three, right? And I lose three life. One, two, three. That is an okay start. I will take that. You know what the F part, F up part about all this is? I'm still at the highest life total, and I've been getting attacked like this. <laughs> <laughs> Very even game right now. Anyone's game. I think that'll have to be it for me. All right, I'll untap and drop. I will play a land here. All right, Um. right, let's see. Well, I'm a little behind now that my very expensive commander is dead. So I'm gonna do a little value play here just to try and keep going. I'm gonna play an Eternal Witness and Ooh. I'm gonna get back my Cultivate. I need to cast a nine mana commander. <laughs> uh, so I will gain a life with Pristine Talisman to get colorless, green and black, and I will cast that Cultivate. So we're gonna ramp a little bit, put some bodies on the table, uh, and hopefully get Belladross out here quickly. I will get a swamp, swamp. I'm gonna swamp into play tapped <laughs> with the Cultivate, uh, and I will get a forest to my hand. Um, I could attack and sacrifice one of my little pests uh, just to draw a card you here. Could. But I feel like we're just giving free value to Nerd Girl. Like she's got Probably some really so. big flyers that <laughs> I cannot block. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> um, so I feel like maybe that's you know good for us in the short term, but not the long term. I think I will do that. I'm gonna send just a little bugger, a little buddy at Power Dragon. 
So I've got two untapped, and one is tapped and attacking the opponent with the highest life total. Um, so that will trigger Brina. With two mana um, available? I have two mana open, but it's just a little guy. I will add I will add two counters to my Death Whale. I, I will, will draw a card. block your 1-1 one, one with my Fractal. Why not? I will gain a life. Okay. I think that's a fair trade. I gained a life and drew a card. Can't complain. <laughs> <laughs> and I will pass after that. All right. Let's see if we can draw something good here. I think if I'm going to do anything, we're just going to go ahead and cast our big dragon. So Tanzania Quandrix is at play. Five mana, four, four. As flying and trample, when here's a battlefield, I can double the number of plus one, plus one counters on a creature I control. I'm probably going to be choosing Stone Cold Serpent. <laughs> 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 and then whenever he attacks, uh, my creatures get base power and toughness equal to whatever his power and toughness are. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to move this to 18. That seems cool. <laughs> Oh, but wait. Oh. Mm -hmm. 18 oh, plus. That's true. So it goes to 20. Because we hit we go. Oh, oh, yeah. A nice even number. Yep. It's a very clean number. And sadly, it's still on defense. It's, <laughs> it's, it's doing a good job. It's doing It's a there job. going like, yeah, nothing's going to punch through, boss. We got this. <laughs> you played that when I had this in my hand. I was just like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> Protection from my removal. <laughs> yeah, can't really do much else, though. Uh, not worth it to do anything else. So I'm just going to end the turn. This is going to go to eight. Wow, not even going to punch Veggie. Jeez. No, I thought about it. But get another fractal. That is going to be a 10 because it'll be 8, mm -hmm. 9, 10. Holy smokes. So much math. All right. Hey, that's all right. Don't complain. Math is good. That doesn't make sense to me, so I will ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to go to my upkeep, and then I'm going to draw this card, and I'm going to try to equip this reality chip to I would like stuff. to do nothing. <laughs> um, go ahead. I'm going to pay 1, 2 three and we'll put this on uh the flame breather so now i can cast from the top as well uh i'm going to pay one uh and i'm going to scry one we're going to put that on the bottom good idea and now we're going to look at this card i'm going to play great furnace off the top of my library as land for turn well we got this far uh we got this far and everybody's kind of a problem so i'm gonna pay four for a storm kiln artist classic classic prismari card Ooh, spooky it gets plus one plus oh for each artifact i control and magecraft whenever i cast an uh cast or copy an instant or sorcery i create a treasure token mm -hmm. i'm going to tap the reality chip which is an artifact <laughs> for one blue mana to cast Pongify off the top of my library. Wow. Destroy target creature, can't be regenerated, and you get a 3-3 three, three ape. Um, I am going to target. This does deal with a Stone Coil Serpent, and I don't know if I'm gonna but get this another- This is not attacking anybody, and honestly, probably won't anytime soon. He's just a baby. <laughs> it's, <laughs> a just a it's a big mm. baby. It's a big baby. It's just a little snack. But it literally has to block all of this. Mm. <laughs> like. All right, well, how about this? I think that's the best target on the table. But we, we, yeah, yeah. we both we both we both share a color. All right. We're both we're both <laughs> that's, on the, that's true. The, that's the true. brainier thoughtful side. I'm gonna send this elsewhere in, in exchange for a little Yeah, this is some, not coming some your cool way. vibes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um Pongify is going to target Brina. There's been so much value there. I need to get it out of here. Doing it before combat, that's and, Interesting. Well, with that on the stack, Gale is going to trigger. I cast an instant or sorcery, so I can now cast a. Uh, I cast an instant, so I can now cast a sorcery from my graveyard. Uh, I'm gonna cast this Jessica's will using uh, one, two, three of my things. Um. So, who has the most cards in their hand? Uh, not me. I have three. I have seven. I'm guessing that that is the most. Seven. Seven. All right. We're back here. 
seven red mana in my pool and I'm going to exile a top three. By the way, that is also two Kessig Flame Breather triggers. Yeah. Everybody oh, take no. two. My cards are Big Score, <laughs> Propaganda, and a Rise and Shine. Ooh. That's cool. Uh, we're going to take a look at this. Great. Okay, so now that is the... That is the stack. I'm going to make two more treasures from Storm Kill an Artist to go to five. Uh, and now, are we destroying that Brina or are there tricks? Exile. I have no tricks. Okay, destroyed. And your ape. I have mana, but nothing that interferes. <laughs> I'll let it resolve. <laughs> I think this propaganda is a very good idea. Let's pay two, and I will have to crack a treasure for that, since it's not instant or sorcery. Uh, it's not a creature. Everybody take a damage. Bummer. I don't have a card, so can't cast his big score. That's kind of funny. I'm gonna... But had you attacked first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be fair, you didn't know you were going to get a big score either. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's true. I mean, I haven't attacked yet, uh, and I got these still under turn. Gone. You can, yeah. so you don't. You can crack your clue to draw a card. I had to tap it. Clues do not require tapping to activate. <gasps> what? Really? That's surprising. Fun fact for anybody out there. Every, oh my god, <laughs> I always your, forget read that. Read your nearest clue token. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I guess let's do that. I'm going to pay two and crack the clue. I will draw my one card. Uh, and then look at that. That's not useful. Yeah. Uh, let's pay... Three red mana and one more treasure to cast big score. I'm going to discard this ponder. Um, I'm going to make two treasures, draw two cards, and everybody take a damage. There we go. Gonna sack three treasures. Oh my. And I'm going to play this gutter snipe off the top. Now my instants and sorceries oh, okay. hurt you all by three. All right. <laughs> yep. Duquan, uh, Power Dragon, did you have a response to that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just general grumblings. Yeah. Just, uh, yes. I had discomfort to that is what I had. I will respond, I think, to the gutter snipe. And I'm going to Assassin's Trophy, the Storm Kiln Artist. So Assassin's Trophy destroys target permanent and opponent controls. Its controller may search out a library for a basic land card and put it onto the battlefield untapped, I believe. And okay. Shuffle. So this is targeting your storm kiln artist. Oh yeah. Okay. I really? can't. I, I can't thought you were gonna it. get the gutter snipe. Uh, I think the mana here is what's going to limit his turn. Right, because I can keep just yeah. burning yeah. through stuff and making a. Yep. Yeah. All right. Someone else with black or white mana open can uh, take care of the rest. I cannot. <laughs> In fact, I'm fairly sure I'm about to die to this bird thing, dragon bit. Oh. I see. To the Drake. Oh, yeah, because there's like 12 things in the graveyard now. All right, I'm going to grab an island and shuffle up and hope that I have a cheap instant or sorcery on the top. All right, does anybody want this to be their fault? Does anybody want to cut? It's already my sure, fault. Sure, I'll gamble it. Let's go. I'll take the blame. All right. I ain't scared. I'm going to take a look at this top card. It's a land. That is not, that is not useful. <laughs> um, Good job. Acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to overload this, but I'm out, but I'm not going to let it go to waste. The last thing I'll do for my turn is pay one and tap another treasure to just cast a single target rise and shine. Um, one of my artifacts is going to become a 4-4, four, four, and each of you will take three damage. Oh, it is three. So Ugh. how big is the Drake now? Uh, this treasure is now a 4-4. Four, four. Veggie is starting to pop off. And as always, I know he's going to come for me. Thanks to all of my drama courses, he won't even know I have a little trick up my sleeve. I'm going to go to combat. And I think I have i can't not swing with this. So, uh, Nerd Girl, while you're open, here is an 8-4 Crackling Drake headed your way. Okay, well, let's start with five for an Ink Shield. Whoa. Prevent all combat damage. That would be dealt this turn. For each one damage dealt, I get a 2-1 flying inkling. Sick. Oh. So that's going to be eight inklings, I do believe. Oh. I believe your math is correct. <laughs> Thank you, math <laughs> from professor. The source, from the source himself. <laughs> exactly. Oh. 
Oh. Okay. Well, yeah. My damage is poofed into into it's writing. Nerd Girl has tried to cast Ink Shield before on the show, but this is the first one that I haven't been able to counter. And even though my propaganda will help to hold off those Inklings for a while, it's not going to stop her from hitting the opponents, and I don't think I can take her one-on-one -on -one right now. But yeah, since there might be a retaliatory attack in your future. <laughs> Just saying. That's all I got. So uh, you, it's your turn. You say that's all. You played like 12 yeah, things. Yeah, that's only, <laughs> only those things. <laughs> you played 12 things with no cards in your hand to start the turn. <laughs> We're, we are not letting Veggie live, right? Is that... I, I believe we need to handle the problem. Yes, I agree. Well, if not, we just die. Because he's going to play like <laughs> six gonna, spells. And, and yeah. we just die to that, right? Yeah, yeah. This now... this Exactly. That's just going to get us dead This anyway. will kill you. But I have to pay two for every single thing that is attacking you? Yes. Yeah, because now this time I will, I will not forget all of my Gale triggers. And I have a bunch of cheap instants and sorceries in the in the graveyard. Remember when I played that Bajuka Bog on turn one and thought, mm, this will be fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's not fine. I was like, this is fine. This is very fine. <laughs> Lesson at home. Don't let your Juga Bogs go with no value. I can't do a lot because then I just can't play anything else. But I will attempt to help, I think. All right, I'm gonna just pay two to attack Veggie, and I will go to combat with just the Echo seven seven Flyer. Yikes! Yikes! Uh, I think that's the best. The best deal I'm gonna get is blocking the seven seven with uh, Galazeth. So I will do that. Great. All Makes right, sense. back to the command zone. We were we are going to try to not die myself, and I'm gonna play. A ghostly prison. <laughs> Similar idea. Creatures can't attack me unless their controller pays two for each creature attacking. And then I'm going to play one more fun creature that lets you guys do some cool stuff. Uh -oh. We're going to play the Orzov Advocist, a 1-4 human advisor. It says at the beginning of my upkeep, each player may put two plus one plus one counters on a creature they control. If the player does... Creatures that player control cannot attack me or planeswalkers I control until my next turn. So you guys will get to do some fun things, I hope. And not attack me, because you can't anyway, right. so you might as well. That'll be my turn, that's all I can do. Turtle, turtle up. <laughs> so, plus I, oh, one plus oh, one counters, you say. I would also like it to be known <laughs> that I could have domed you with a lot of inklings. You could have killed me. I just wanted you to know. I need your help with veggie, so. I feel like you and Power Dragon were already conspiring for that, so I'm just happy to be ignored in the I mean, corner over here. <laughs> I, I, I said we. <laughs> She's giving me plus one, plus one counters. I mean... I said we. I can only be so bothered. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I will draw. We'll contemplate all my life decisions leading up to this point. Cool. I will play a Barad Dur. This is a legendary land. It enters the battlefield tapped unless I control a legendary creature, which I do. I can add black or pay XXB, tap it, and amass X orcs. Activate only if a creature died this turn. So I will tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. And I will recast Belladross with He's a bloom. Back. I should have hit you for th with three inklings, so you can't untap. <laughs> I, will, I will then. <laughs> I should have done that. I'm going to pay 10 life to activate Belladross with her bloom and untap all my lands. Uh, I, I'm paying the yeah. life now, so that's yeah. part of the activation, so I'll go down yep. to six. Definitely should have done that. So I'll untap all of my lands. All right. Well, you're back to having nine more mana. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Because, like, this, this mana is probably going to be used to deal with me and then there are no more activations so i think that's probably pretty fine all right one two three four five six seven eight nine i believe that's how much i want to spend i will pay nine mana for profane transfusion two target players will exchange their life totals i will create an xx colorless horror artifact creature token where x is the difference between those players life totals i will target myself and veggie this is cute i like this card i, ha I have that in one of my decks <laughs> that's exciting yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow, Stone Cold Serpent looking way worse than it was a second ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. 
Excellent. I will go to 21. Oh. And I will make a 15 15. And it is a colorless horror. Artifact creature token. Which also means that's a creature that I can throw down with Stone Cold Serpent. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it can at least stare him in the eyes and exactly. be like, whoa, 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 buddy. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like that card. And I am basically tapped out. So I will. There's nothing to encourage me. There's nothing to encourage me to attack. And I don't have very good attacks either. So I am just going to pass the turn uh, to Power Dragon. I don't have a ton of mana to do a bunch of attacks and still cast stuff. That's going to be my issue here. I'll make a pest token in your upkeep. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything during my upkeep. Just drawing. Hmm. <laughs> please, please kill Veggie. I really, 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 really want to. Well, I will not attack you with Inklings or any of my things. At least no nerd girl's not going to attack me for one turn. So fine. Veggie, have a Stone Cold Serpent, my friend. A big 2020 ball. <sighs> I hate being in this spot because I kind of have to attack Veggie or else the table's probably dead. So I'm really putting a lot of trust in Nerd Girl here to not kill me on her next attack step. I don't think I'm making it out of this one. Yeah, I got, I, I've got i got 12 butt 12 butt and one mana and a handful of lands. Oh, no. Ooh. What's on top of your deck? Unsummon. <laughs> An enchantment. Oh, no. oh yeah. That's <laughs> All right. Looks that, like Veggie is dead. Mm -hmm. That was the Power Dragon cut, and it is going to kill me. <laughs> All right. I am going to play three mana for a Plaxcaster Frogling. It's a three mana, zero, zero, but it has graph three, so it comes in with three counters. Then if I have something come in to play after it, I could move a counter onto it. And I'll, I can also pay two mana to make something as a plus one, plus one, not be targeted by spells or abilities. So this comes in with five, actually, as the moment is. Because he gets three plus one plus one. I think that's all I can do. So we're going to move to the end step. And we're going to move this to 60. <laughs> and then... Oh, where are we at? Where are we? And then make one that's an 18-18 fractal. All right. And that is, oh, actually, it's a, if I move it, it'll be a 21. Yeah, I like that. Because <laughs> it'll get that counter plus two extra ones when mm. it comes into play. So we'll make it a 21, 21 fractal. All right. Holy smokes. Yeah. Would it be a 21, 21 or a 20, 20? Because it goes from 16 to 18, and then you move one counter over. Yeah, so it's 19 okay. oh, and then the other two. Yeah. Yeah. Math is hard. That's why I am Bell Dross with the Bloom. <laughs> We're doing good with I'm the math doing, over I'm here. just going to sit here with my little pests <laughs> my little garden. All right. Um. So I don't play counters decks, people. <laughs> Too much <laughs> <Yeah>. math. <laughs> That's my turn. All right. Upkeep, I'll get a little pesty. I get to untap because Veggie's dead. That's excellent. <laughs> now you just need to do enough damage that you can't like untap. <laughs> which is a lot. Well, just... she can untap instant speed and kill something, which is suck. If I have a removal spell, yes. Yeah. Wait, wait. Did I get to pay a life and draw from Gix attacking? Yes. If you hit somebody, yes, yeah. Yes, would I like would to. like to pay a life, actually. And I'll, I'll just get this extra life since we missed that. Mm. Card. There you go. Mm -hmm. It was irrelevant. On my upkeep, would either of you guys like to put plus one, plus one counters on your creatures? I'm not going to lie. I really want to. But I also don't know what's about to happen and if I will need to attack or not. So I'm going to forego putting the plus one, plus one counters. I think I will as well. I don't think the extra plus plus one, two counters? One counter? Two, two. counters. I don't think extra two counters actually help me that much. Oh, yeah. On my board, that's like four counters plus. So, like, I really <laughs> thought about it. <laughs> yeah. I think I will decline. I will, indeed, uh, try to put some counters onto an inkling. So the inkling, we will get the color for your counters. Yes. I'm going to play a Vault of Champions for the turn. I think I think Megan's got to go. Um, I'm, I, whatever is in your hand, we've, we're going to get it out. Uh, so, Megan, I'm I'm coming across with the Flyers. Uh, I'll leave the, the bigger one back for me, just in case. But we're going to go in with the Echo and the seven two ones. So that's 14 plus seven is Xaxes. I'm gonna make you have the trick. So I'll, I will attack you with all of the things. Hmm. 
This way you have to pay for the life to untap and maybe the trick is not good enough. You know what? I'm gonna do it. My hand is stinky. Uh oh. And I think I think the untapping at one life, uh, let me double check my math. One, two, three. Yep, math sucks. All right, uh, I'm going to pay 10 life and untap my lands. Here we go. Oh no. You can respond to that. I got nothing. Uh oh. So I'll go to 11. Here we go. I was springing the trap and either the trap was gonna be not so bad and she was gonna be at one or I was gonna lose my face. I, I don't know which. I'm going to cast a stinging study. Draw X cards and lose X life where X is the mana value of a commander you own on the battlefield or in the command zone, which would be seven. Okay, so you're gonna lose seven. Nice, I, I, I like this to, gamble. I am going to <laughs> draw seven and lose seven and hope there is something that will save me in the top seven cards of my library. What? I'm into this. Like, <laughs> Is there some sort of settle the wreckage in those colors? Ink shield. Fog, she can't ink shield. Those are my colors. <laughs> I, oh yeah, it's with a bloom, so like stink there are fog shield. Variants. Stink shield. <laughs> yeah. All right. Since you did not take the Orzov Advocate uh, deal, I'm going to besage you who endures the ghostly prison to hopefully give Power Dragon a win. So besage you, I will pay to discard it and channel it, destroy target artifact enchantment or non-basic land an opponent controls. They may search their library for a land card with a basic land type and put it onto the battlefield. Ouch. Uh, so I will hopefully try and unlock a combat for Power Dragon who is hurting on mana, as it, so it seems here. I think that's the best I can do. I don't think anything else really changes the math for you on any of these other- Probably not. Uh, any of these other plays that are in my hand. So I think I'm gonna gain my last life and die. <laughs> <laughs> Valiant effort, I appreciate you. Now the question is, do I wanna gain, do I wanna draw some cards? I was just one mana short from a play I was really excited about. I was one mana short from buying back Profane Transfusion with Balaged Recovery and swapping life totals with Nerd Girl after she puts me to one. And I just didn't quite get there, but it was a cool game nonetheless. I will pay one life to draw a card off of the Gix for one creature. That's not it. I will pay another life <laughs> yep. off of a creature. <laughs> and I thought I was silly paying seven life in the face of death. <laughs> so that is two. You just have to trust the math. <laughs> It'll be okay. I will lose another life and draw another card. That's not it. I'll do it again. Whoa. Three, four. Gix's ability, I'm short one mana because I did play a land for turn. Um. This is a, this is the difference between definitely well, the these matches like because I'd, I'd see ability, that play though, like you, and, and I'd be like, great, draw her. all of the cards and then go, and I would probably lose for it. But like, <laughs> damn, that would be. You know who else also drew all of the cards and then died for it? Mm -hmm. I'm right there with you. I would have also done the same. Wow, thing. I Just power play. <laughs> okay, I got it. All right, I got it. Awesome. Don't think about it too much. Just feel. Go off feeling. <laughs> You're the feeling person. I'm a little. I'm not as mathy, but I'm not as feeling. <laughs> All right. What's going to make for a good story, you know? No matter what, I'm doing two more. Oh, just going that's it. for that's it. That's eight. I am going to tap seven mana to activate Gix. And what that's going to allow me to do is to discard any number of cards from my hand, which I just drew a million. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is what I'm going to discard. I'm going to keep three or two. And I'm gonna get the top 10 cards of your library. That I'm I banking can, for at least seven lands, but that's not gonna be the case. That I can cast. One, two, three. Oh, they're all mine. <laughs> Four, five, six. <laughs> oh my God. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, those were, oh. So, good. Those were so good. Lots of creatures <laughs> in there. And you cast these for free? Without paying their yep. mana costs? <laughs> Those I, were it says you may play lands, but I have already played a land for right, turn, yeah. so that doesn't count. Oh no, can't get <laughs> that one land of value. <laughs> Those were so it, good. It, it would have made a difference. Well, I don't know what we're doing, but we're pooping all of this onto my battlefield. I don't know if it's gonna save me. I may, I may cast them for free. We're gonna start yep. with this one, the Questing Beast Caller. Well. Whenever I cast a creature spell, put a plus one, plus one counter onto it. Whenever this creature dies, distribute X counters to any number of Creatures that I control where X is the number of plus one plus one counters on it. You know you're gonna draw a land now, right? <laughs> I know, I'm absolutely gonna draw a land. Like I just gave her like of the 10 cards, like seven were good. Yep. 
All right, Death's Presence. Whenever a creature you control dies, put a plus one, plus one counter onto target creature I control. Where X is that creature's power. We're gonna play a Guild Mage. I cannot activate it because I don't have access to those silly colors, but it is a two, two. But your Beast Caller gets a plus one, plus one. Yeah, and I will get a plus one, plus one counter. Those oh, are those are Gix's from counters. Gix. You should have two. Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks. I don't know how that happened. I moved them off. We removed it to read the very yeah. many lines yeah. of text that are on Gix. We're gonna play a Vigor. It's a six, six Trampler. Damage that would be dealt to creatures I control other than Vigor is prevented Put a plus one, plus one counter onto that creature for each one damage prevented this way. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like that. Yeah. <laughs> Vicar was the, the boogeyman of my LGS in 2017 mm. or 2018 mm -hmm. around, around that time where everyone who saw Vigor was just like, so you kill see it the, You see the plan now, right? So then everything gets more counters. and then, uh -huh. yeah. Your deck is mean. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. And then whenever it dies, we're going to shuffle into your library. We're going to play... More counter. Again, another yep. counter there. We're also going to play Peer. Yep. Partnered with Toothy. If one or more counters would be put onto a permanent your team controls, put that many plus one of each of those counters instead. So I guess that's now going to four. Uh, uh, it would be three because that's a cast trigger, not an ETB trigger on that. Yeah. So now that it's in play, oh, every, yep, you're right. every additional thing would be two. So Beast Caller will go to three. Uh, we're going to play Gyre Sage. Has evolve and can tap for some mana for each plus one plus one counter on it. Now we're gonna go to five. I'll just play this sword of truth and justice. Yeah, why not? <laughs> this is gonna go away at the end of turn, so I might as well play the inspiring call. I get to draw a card for each creature I yep. control with a plus one plus one counter on it. They'll gain indestructible. Yep. But not relevant now. Oh, you can have this one back. <laughs> yeah, they'll just hang out in my graveyard. One, two, three, four, five. Cr Creatures have plus one, plus oh, actually, one counters. This one goes to my grave and these uh, are exiled. No, it's still five. This is a stack of seven, so one, oh. two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I thought it was in the clear, but then I didn't think about the fact that Nerd Girl could actually draw a lot of cards, which is a lot of ammo for Yawgmoth. And y'all saw what that resulted in. Her getting my vigor and the sword were actually pretty bad, because that's all I've got left. Maybe. All right. I have I have done my work. It's like close. Uh, it's very close. It's very close. That is not going to do it. <laughs> That's not even close. <laughs> this might be the one of the few ways to actually tr attempt to end this. So we're going to tap for, for Herald of the Secret Streams. It's a four mana, two, three. Creatures I control with plus one, plus one counters on them cannot be blocked. I would like to attempt to move a counter over to this if you would allow that. I almost thought I didn't have it for a right, second because it, yeah. it's mono color. <coughs> oh. Uh, but you get to do it with a silver quill spell. <laughs> yeah, with a silver quill finish, we are going to cast Vanishing Verse. Exile target mono color permanent. Oh, no. Wow. It's like the exact answer. <laughs> <laughs> that's brutal. <laughs> like That's wow. definitely going to kill this. I could attempt to attack, so the most I could do is attack you with a Stone Coil Serpent. Does that do it? Well, it's and a Quandrix. You can attack with everything, right? And force me to have to chump them. Yeah. Right? Otherwise, don't it's more bucks. I mean, I'm going to attack anyway. I just don't think it's enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're not chumping, right? All your creatures are pseudo indestructible. Yeah, yeah. I just meant bodies need uh, to go under each of them. I have which... to pay to protect one. All right. Yeah, sure. Oh, you're not sending the frog in? Yeah, a frog can come frog. get it, too. Frog. Everybody's going to get it. Because we do need to block every single one of these creatures. And well, then hope, at least these. And then hope there's enough butt left. I don't even think I, I can't even block the flyer because I ended up not casting one. Oh, oh right. So we're going to just say we've got. Oh, yes. Yeah, so you can't let anything through because this tags you for four. Yep. And any of the other ones are base four now. It, it might still be enough. So I'm going to put my smallest butts. In yeah, because the big ones aren't trampling. So Exactly. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five. Here's five of the biggest non-tramplers. Which amusingly, they would be stopping giant piles of damage and then getting a billion counters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> four. So that's stopping one, two, three, four, and five. So that leaves these three yep. unblocked. I can't block the flyer, so my next smallest butt. Oh, I guess is so is the rat. I didn't see the rat. 
Yep. So cool. That so that's taken care of yep. that. And then how much butt do I have? Uh, 24 left. Oh, gosh. So I'm taking four from the flyer. One, two, three, four. And now I have to block. These, that's 24. Yeah, base yeah. four from this. You have like 20, 20. 21 of this. So I have to block. I have to have 21 butt left, which I don't think I do. I don't think you do. So I 21 have, would leave you at one, correct? Exactly. 21 leaves me at one. And that's because I punted and left this three butt instead of this four butt back. So what if I told you it didn't matter? <laughs> oh because God. we have solidarity of heroes. Oh my God, what? you have two? Target a what? creature, choose any number of target creatures, double the number oh of plus one plus God. one counters on them. So we're going to move this to 40. <laughs> <laughs> That'll probably get it done. Okay, so you didn't even need the Herald of Secret Streams. Good game. All right. Just <laughs> super dead. Just super dead in multiple different ways. <laughs> I mean, num numbers are sub subjective, right? It's like whatever you feel your number is. I would beg to differ. Numbers are very important. <laughs> <laughs> you would. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> I'm a little slow today. <laughs> this game was wild. At every single point in time, somebody was the problem and had to keep getting answered. And I just could not believe the ending of that game. First, it was Nurgle was the problem. And then Power Dragon just has double answers on the last turn. I couldn't have asked for a better finish. One of the easiest ways to support the show without really changing anything for anyone is by getting any of your magic card singles from Tales of Adventure. They have an incredible selection of both your most basic versions of the cards all the way up to the most premium versions. I also hear they have excellent jingles. So if you guys would like to support us, make sure you guys head on over to Tales of Adventure or TOA. You can find a link and a discount code for 5% off down below in the description. I told you my entire hands full of make your opponents really confused when they attack each other. <laughs> it's working. All of these say opponent, opponent. Mm -hmm. Man, for a second there, I thought Nurgle might have another answer, but that Solidarity of Heroes was so clutch. Moxfield is the best deck list site available. It has everything you need to customize, compare, and collaborate. View and brew the way that works for you. Moxfield is the only way that we can track and share all of our spiciest builds here on the show and whatever Veggie is playing. Make sure to follow our Moxfield profile in the link in the description. All of them will be base 4-4, four, four, and then they'll also have their counters on top. Mm. Uh, you do have to pay for our propaganda. Oh, that's true. I have too many creatures. I can't, actually. Yeah. I couldn't if I wanted to. Oh. 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 That was incredibly close. I thought I was going to have enough toughness to survive, but my calculations were off. I should have known not to get into a math war with the Dean of Quandrix. Ultimate Guard is the industry leader in TCG accessories. We love their stuff and we know you will too. In fact, every single playmat, sleeve, or deck box featured on this show is an Ultimate Guard product. And we use Ultimate Guard to protect our own personal collections on a day-to-day -day basis. So make sure to use the link in the description to support our channel and treat yourself to some amazing upgrades. Uh, sure. That's, that's, I guess, an idea. Okay. Uh, what do I do? Tales of Adventure. We're helping out decked out by getting the cardboard. We're Tales of Adventure. We're Toa, Toa, Toa. Tales of Adventure. Veggie. Tales of Adventure. We have all the cardboard and we support Deck Doubt. It's Tales of Adventure. We adventure into your tales, Toa. Tales of Adventure. Veggie. I will forever represent Prismari, but I did lose this game for the same reason that I got out of the acting industry. It is really hard to remember your lines when you're having a good time. We would like to take a minute to thank our patrons. Without your support, this show would not be possible. In fact, you are directly responsible for us being able to continue to put out weekly episodes. And you picked today's theme for the game, Strixhaven, in the online patron polls. And if you are not a patron, but would like to get involved in the show, make sure you head on over to our Patreon, where you can check out all the exclusive perks that you can unlock, like signed tokens, spell table games. You can even become a producer on the show and have your deck list featured here on the show. And as always, you can support us by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It's a big help. That's all we've got for you for today. We'll see you next time on Decked, Decked Out. Out.